Hello, I'm Dirk Erken, a professional photographer specializing in nature, macro and light painting photography. Welcome to this exciting journey, where we're going to explore the fascinating world of selective focus in photography. In this video, we're going to dive into the art of selective focus, its impact on the perception of sharpness and how it can help you to create dreamy and painterly images. So grab your camera and join me on this adventure. Let's start by understanding what selective focus is and why it matters in photography. Selective focus allows us to control the depth of field in our images, meaning that we can choose which part of the photo is sharp and which part is blurred. This technique plays a crucial role in guiding the viewer's eye to the main subject and creating a sense of depth and dimensions in our pictures. One of the key benefits of using selective focus is that it can make your subject stand out. When you capture an image with a narrow depth of field, like this example here, the subject appears incredibly sharp against a beautiful blurred background. Selective focus plays a visual trick on your brain. A contrast between sharp and unsharp areas make the focused areas appear even sharper than they actually are. Now let's dive deeper into the impact of a wide depth of field on the sharpness of your pictures. When you use a wide depth of field, a lot more in your frame is in focus, which might sound ideal, but it can have a surprising effect. The human eye naturally seeks out areas of contrast and sharpness. In images with a wide depth of field, the eye takes more time to search for that sharpness, making it appear less distinct. There's less contrast between the sharp point of focus and its surroundings that are blurred. And this leads to the perception of a reduced overall sharpness in your pictures. So it's essential to consider how the depth of field influences the way viewers perceive your images. I often use selective focus in my flower and mushroom macro photography to create a dreamy and painterly feel. By carefully choosing what to focus on and what to blur, I can evoke emotions and tell a story through my pictures. It's all about creating a connection between the viewer and the subject, drawing them into the world that I've captured. Another important aspect of selective focus is the role of the background and the foreground bokeh. These outer focus areas can add depth and dimension to your pictures. By creating a pleasing and dreamy bokeh, you can further enhance the overall aesthetic of your images, making them more visually appealing and immersive. Many photographers, especially beginners, often aim for maximum sharpness in their images. However, it's essential to recognize that selective focus can often have a much more greater visual impact than images with a wider depth of field. Photography is about storytelling and evoking emotions, and selective focus allows you to guide the viewer's eye so don't always favor sharpness over creativity. Sometimes the beauty lies in what you choose to blur. Mastering selective focus is a powerful tool in the world of photography. It allows you to control the perception of sharpness, draw attention to your subject and create artistic and captivating images. So remember, that selective focus can be your best friend in achieving your creative vision. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of selective focus. And if you're eager to learn more about using selective focus in your macro photography and you want to take your skills to the next level, then I invite you to check out my free mini course on flower art photography by clicking on the link below. It's a fantastic opportunity to get started on your journey to create stunning flower pictures.